Hello. I'm back once again. I um, am making the beginnings of my signature scent series, which because I'm opening a shop, I'm I want to have my lines have I'm going like this because that's how they're going to be displayed on shelves. Um, yeah, I'm going to do soap, reed diffusers, mists, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember what else I'm going to do. Candles. So I thought I'd better start <laughs> making the soap seeing as the shop opens in a month and a half. So this is going to be Fifty Shades of Vanilla. Um, I am, however, going to take a little bit out of this before I start because I need to check to see if my new signature scent, which I haven't used in soap before, which is called Blossom, I need to see if it discolours. It doesn't matter if it accelerates or doesn't, it just as long, I just need to know if it discolours because I haven't decided what I'm going to do for colours with that yet. I was hoping pinks, but if it discolours, well, I can't do that. So I know that the I know that the vanilla does. So the vanilla is going to be because it's called Fifty Shades, and it is a playoff Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, well, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? Um, because it's a playoff that I'm going to make the soap be Fifty Shades of Grey. So I just want to. While I've got some soapy, and I'm also sort of rushing as well because my son is currently, my youngest, is currently staying with me. <laughs> Yay! Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so I have to do this while he's not here because I cannot soap with an audience. And like we can soap with an audience, I can't film with an audience. It's just, it's too weird. So I'm just, all I'm doing over here is I'm just pouring off a little bit of this. I'm going to do a hundred. Actually, I might do 120-ish. <laughs> okay, so 130. <laughs> That's ish. And I have my fragrance here. Which is probably way too much, but pff, whatever. Who cares? I'm just going to do this real quick and then pour it into a mould. And then I can just see what it does. And I don't have to make a whole batch and I can work around what it does so oh, for a floral it smells pretty nice I'll leave that to the side for the moment now this is going to be grey and then I've got a darker grey and an almost black so what will happen is this will discolour but hopefully it won't discolour brown, it'll just go darker. So this is this is the hope anyway. Alright. So we can live in hope. <laughs> Apparently I'm Egyptian and live in denial. Oh dad jokes this early in the morning. Oh dear me. So yeah, I'm not doing anything fancy with this because it's the top that's going to matter. With this I have little black flowers. All the tops of all my signature scents will have flowers on top. Regardless of what their insoles look like. So, yeah. so this is thickening up terribly. So I am currently using soy wax in my mix. I will not be doing that anymore after this lot runs out because it does make, does make it. Yeah, well, I don't know. Apparently my, I had sinus tablet guy last night, guys. I am just so dense today. It's ridiculous. I'm sorry. <laughs> Those things always might turn me into a stupid person. <sighs> Alright, so this is the darkest one, which is Black Pearl. <laughs> yeah, I love that name. And I went and seen Pirates of the Caribbean the other day too. Black Pearl, and that's just Black Pearl. Oh, oh still a fair bit on the bottom. 
these are the wonkiest spoons too, <laughs> this one. I only have one of these spoons, I have no idea where it came from. And this is black pearl, a spoon of black pearl and a spoon of silver lake. And that was what I put in there was silver lake. So, but that's not actually grey enough, I don't think. It's gone rather brown, so I'm a bit worried now. Oh, look, I'm just going to do it. Bugger it. I'll just do it. And what I was going to do, there's not a lot of difference between those two, is there? Oh, Miss Panic Pants. Here I go. Miss Panic Pants. How's that going? Oh, my God, it's hard. Right? Okay, so that, that does accelerate. Right. We'll get this in the mould then. Can you guys see that? Let's look at it. Have a look at it. It's hard. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this the soy wax was a good idea in theory, but not exactly in practice. So see so yeah, it. So I'm not putting any colorants in there, so I'm just gonna leave it just as it is. I'm not gonna sprinkle anything on it, do anything with it, just gonna leave it. Put you over there. All right, now, I was going to do a drop swirl with this, but I mean a in the pot swirl, but I don't know how this is going to go. Get that out of there. Yeah, I'm not, not a fan of this soy wax, so I mean, my recipes tend to thicken anyway because I use so much... Um, hard oils that this is just kind of I think the wax has just pushed it past the edge of you've got too much hard stuff in there now but that's okay I don't mind I mean <laughs> um, it's an experiment and you know I like to change it up every now and then because I get a of course because I get a recipe that works really well so I have to change it that's me hello Masochist, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so what I can do with that is get that off the side because that's annoying me every time I touch the bowl. And then, oh god, that's not thick enough. Let's go with this. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> it's on my mouse. It's on my mouse. Look, it's on my mouse. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to attempt to plop it in here. And there's not going to be a whole lot of swirling going on in this, I don't think, but... It should be interesting because I think what's going to happen is because all the dark stuff was on the top is it's going to go from dark to light in the mould which won't be a bad thing at all so I think I might turn it alright one smell me coming up but yeah that's okay I um I'm not overly stressed look I've got so many things to stress out about this month that just this is the least of my worries, you know. It really is, and that's just bad, isn't it? Although it's soap. There's no need to stress over soap. Because no matter what it looks like, as I always say, it's the scent that sells it. And it's just soap. It doesn't really matter. If the worst comes to the worst and it looks really shit, I'll keep it for myself and I'll make another one. Because I love my vanilla. Funnily enough, I never wash with it though, because I've usually always made my sensational citrus for myself, because I love that too. But they're both, the, that and the watermelon are the ones that are, that are the most popular but the watermelon soap doesn't sell which is funny isn't it the watermelon sells in everything else in candles in melts 
so we'll see. May, I, I may include that at some point. Okay, so I have to do something. Ugh, that can clean up later. I have to do something to the top of that. And that, because it's got to have my little. Um, it's going to have the flowers on it, so it's going to have to be reasonably flat. But I'd wanted to do. I don't know what on top. No, I didn't check. Oh, you know, it's still well there. Yeah, Ten minutes. That was a hell of a quick soap, wasn't it? Go down there a bit. Get in there. I didn't want to do anything too fancy on the top because I want the flowers to shine. So. I'm just thinking if I just sort of just I don't know I'm just playing at this point it's not getting any flatter that's for sure it's too solid to do anything now all right um yeah, I think I'm just going to just leave it like that, just with little kind of swirly bits on it, just like that. And I'll bring over the flowers and attempt to place them in a way that looks fabulous. <laughs> this can just do what I always do. And I'll just put one in the middle, just like that. And then I wreck it because I put that in there. Just a bit stupid, isn't it? A bit stupid. Oh, and that was covered in soap. Yay! Ugh. Um, another one. Clean this all off. I hope it doesn't stay this colour. I hope it goes grey. It may not. Like I said, it's vanilla. It does discolour, so I was just hoping that with the grey it wouldn't go too brown. But this is why I needed to get stuck into doing this now before it gets too close um, to when I open the shop. So, so as you can see, I have all these cute little flowers here. I've got tiny little ones. Now they're all, now these are the same colours as what I used in the soap. Um, the soap dough itself was made with black pearl, and then I cut them out. And then put, oh, I won't do that, it's a bit grotty over there. Um, and then I put black pearl on them. And then in the centres, I don't know if you can see, might be hard to see. In the centre, it, um, there's a little drop of the silver, uh, silver lake. So yeah. So I'm going to just put these down the centre and I'm just going to put lots and I will stop talking so I can just fast forward this bit. tip it because it's not going to fall out it's solid <laughs> so we, whether or not it stays that browny greeny color is a different matter um, it probably will but I don't think it looks that bad I think the flowers are lovely I was gonna go oh, this is why I said made too many I was gonna go all across the top but I think I just like them down the center like that and I've tried to put some right up on the edges so that when I cut those two end pieces off the, for the um, samples, they'll still have um, little flowers on them. I might put 
So there you go. There's my little smell me. Oh, okay. Yeah, glitchy much. Which should look nice and neat once it comes out. Alrighty. Well, that's it, guys. I will see you for the cutting. Bye. Hello, back again. Alright, um, I'll get this done before this kid comes home. <laughs> Uh, it's still a little green uh, as you can see it's darkened considerably um, it's gelled on the inside so it could be completely different color in there actually I think it's still actually I don't even know if I should cut this it feels like Just that one spot there. I don't know if it's a hole or. I don't know. I'm just going to cut it and see what happens. <laughs> Whatever. It probably will have holes in it anyway because it was so thick, so. It looks pretty cool by the look. It's very nice. It's very masculine looking. That's very nice. It's definitely gelled. You can see that. You can see. See the ring. But that's okay. I don't mind. Not overly worried. It's nice. I like it. I don't even, I mean, it's supposed to be vanilla, <laughs> but I don't mind the fact that it's kind of like camo colours. You can see this silver here. It's actually got a little bit of a sheen to it, which I wasn't expecting at all. So that's pretty cool. It's still quite warm, which is interesting because I made it four hours ago. So this one stayed pretty warm. Well that's, well that's the one that had the dint in it so it's not, it didn't overheat or anything. I'm just going to assume that that's just a dint in the soap because it's not, yeah it's definitely not overheated because it doesn't have any hole, overheating holes in it so it's not leaking any um, liquids. Right, but yeah that's silver. I can't believe it's got such a cool sheen like that. It's really cool. Look at that. It's hard to get the right light for you guys. But yeah. Like I said, I don't hate the colour. I wish it was actually grey. But bloody vanilla. It won't do what you want it to do. Well, not my vanilla. Apparently there's a vanilla. This vanilla. Here, this Sweet Cakes White Vanilla from Hair Heirloom is um, apparently doesn't discolour, but it doesn't smell very nice either. So it doesn't smell like vanilla, if you ask me. So I don't want my signature vanilla scent to be something that I don't like. But that's okay, I don't mind. I, um, the um, other one I think is discoloured, that little bit that I poured off. For, to test with the blossom so I have to think of some options with that so I've got, I kind of got little bits of flower on the ends not much but doesn't matter but yeah We're having a discussion the other day about in the forums about these spots and we're somewhat undecided like some these ones in this soap I'm gonna guess are actually probably steric spots because they're not all rubbing off like when you cut with a with wire cutters it tends to leave spots on your soap anyway which is weird because I've cut soap that has no palm in it and got steric and got spots so 
It's just a weird thing that wire cutters do. But I would suggest that the spots in my soaps are probably steric spots because I use palm oil and I use and I soap at room temperature. So you know. And now I've put the soy wax in there and ruined everything. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you for the next one. I will put a picture at the end of this to show you what this looked like if it changed dramatically. If it, didn't, if it doesn't change, I won't bother. But if, you know, if it's changed enough that I think it looks different from this, gets darker or grayer or browner <laughs> or something, uh, I'll put a picture on the end for you. All right, bye.